Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope everyone's doing really, really well. Today is Sunday, the 3rd of March. And I want to just do another like shopping haul. I've got a shopping haul that's going live tonight that's probably about two months ago now. Don't judge me, you know, I've had a lot going on the past sort of how long. However, I went to get a parcel today which i'll show you just some man bottle and some man dummies these were off vintage brand new sealed in the packaging no tampering or anything like that and i got both of these for 12 quid now i got the bottles previous that you saw in that video for 14 so and that was on club card offer all those months ago so yeah make sure you check out vintage for new items for baby if you are pregnant we've got another couple of bits as well i'll show you them so we've got a prep machine this is just really handy middle of the night you know we've got to try to sort all the bottles out and do everything it heats the temperature to kill all bacteria and that and then it, pay it pours it out at the perfect temperature so you never need stress about that for if you formula feeding. So that was $74.99, which again sounds expensive, but trust me, it's a lifesaver. I've just got, well, Ben's actually got these for the baby, the prep machine and this. This is just a black changing bag. So you put your nappies, your bottles, all things like that in. It's got like a waterproof mattress protector cover thing that you can put down when you're changing baby, which, you know, if you're going like, public toilets or something to put down or whatever really really good idea and they could just enter that wipe it after but yeah so this video i've got a tesco haul now i weren't going to do this haul but ben wants me to i went to do my shopping in tesco and i got harassed today i mean i don't even know if that's the right word i mean i'm flabbergasted at whatever's happened today so I approached that Tesco. Ben was like, oh, I'm going to take Skylar because she was iffing an hour and I'll spend a penny as in Smith. So we said like, why don't you go Argos? Because you have two for 15, two for 10, you know, two for 20. Like you can get a couple of toys or whatever that you want. Yeah, mummy, okay, I'll do that. So the agreement was they were going to go Argos because they're on the same like, place and I'll go to Tesco. I've gone into Tesco, went we, went back out, got my trolley and picked up some Pepsi Max cans for £8 as you all know that I'd normally get and I went round to the sandwich bit because Ben had phoned me, hey babe just what, so you know but we're having a meal deal for dinner that's what he said so I was trying to get him a meal deal there was no chicken and stuff in sandwiches so I was trying to find out what was going on but anyway I put my trolley down and I was tr I'd got Skylar's and I've got Ben's and I was just bending down to get mine. Now, I'm very pregnant, you know, like I'm 32 weeks. I was 32 weeks yesterday and I'll show you my bum. Like, we are very round, you know. He is a big boy. Um, So... I bent down, I was in pain try, trying to get up as well as just sort of moving along to go get my trolley. This woman completely like shoving my trolley all the way around. I looked at her as if like, what are you doing? I grabbed my trolley off it and she started giving me like loads of crap, telling me that I need to go, the mind charity, I need to seek professional help. Oh my God, I'm fat, I'm this. I, you look like you've just rolled out of bed. I goes, I have just rolled out of bed. You know, I'm not ashamed to say that. You can see in my, my face, I'm tired, I'm worn out, I'm stressed out. Yeah, I had, you know. Anyway, I goes, well, yeah. And then goes, I'm eight months pregnant. And she goes, oh, yeah, you look like you're about to drop. I goes, if it was about drop duck, I said I'd be in, you know, I'd be in hospital one time. She goes, well, that's where you need to be. I said, I'm, can you stop giving me a load of crap now? And then she started like saying more stuff. So I turned around and says, I don't need this crap off a middle-aged woman because that's how old she was. I'm not being funny, but I've got nothing against 
middle-aged women, you know, older women. Like, I'm not being funny. Some of them are my best best friends. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, the amount of you that I talk to that are in the older regions, I am not ageist, I am not racist, I am not sexist, I am not anything, you know, like, when people go on about all this, oh my god, like, what this person's doing in the world, or what, I'm for it, you know, like, if that's what you want to do, that's fine, but if that's what makes you happy, thrive at it, do you know what I mean, like, and, anyway, off topic, this woman turned around to me and was giving me all this stuff, and I got my phone out to record her and she started walking away and then she walked off. Anyway, I'm there. I'm still trying to find out what I want for dinner because after this sort of encounter, like, I was emotional. I was getting upset as it was. Two seconds. Sorry about that. But, uh, yeah, I was getting upset and emotional as it was anyway. Anyway, I turn around and these colleagues are talking to this woman. Basically accusing me of being a racist so I turned around to the colleagues and I was like look I said whatever this lady is saying is bull crap I mean I didn't even swear I literally said it's crap I said I'm not being funny I said I've just been harassed over there because I'm getting a sandwich for my family literally all I was doing was getting a sandwich and my trolley was in the way and she wanted to look at more options no excuse me no anything like that this all this abuse that i've just told you about was what i got so i had enough and i was i just started breaking down crying and this woman's going i've come to my my people making it about race again make like making me feel like i'm the one that's the problem you know and yeah sorry she turned around to me and was saying i'm being racist because my trolley was there <laughs> all this because my trolley was in the way so this colleague from tesco spoke to me tried to calm me down you know told me that it's okay she she said that she could tell that I wasn't like that and she says but I want you to do something she said if you're ever in this situation again she says you don't you don't make it about like because I was trying to prove a point that you know like I've been friends with and do you know what I mean like I have nothing against anyone and I even said to the woman, I said, everyone has got the same on the inside. You know, everyone is the same. The other thing that I I take by how people treat me, if you treat me like an idiot, you know, that's it. We're done. But I just can't believe it happened. It was like, I've come to my Eastern European people as if like I had a, a problem speaking to people of a different race than myself you know like she was making it all about the fact that oh and then she told them that I need professional help I need to go and get major help because there's something wrong with me even though she's just bullied a pregnant woman had a go at a pregnant woman accused a pregnant woman of racism but she's not in the wrong at all but anyway, after this woman had calmed me down and told me, like, you know, you're not the problem. She's just very high rate. And I, I get it, I get it, you know. Like, I just ca tried to carry on. And then this, the, the same woman started walking towards me. So, like, because I'd, I'd carried on doing my shopping. They were like, just, she's going in a minute because she said that she needed to go to her wedding ASAP. So, she couldn't do her shopping. So, obviously... The colleagues encouraged me to go and carry on my shopping. So I did my shopping, well, tried to. I was trying to think of what I needed. And then she starts walking towards me. So I phone's bad. I explained to him what had gone on. And I was so embarrassed. I was embarrassed to phone my partner and say, I've just been harassed by a lady in Tesco. I've been called all sorts of names. I've been accused of racism. And the fact that I've now got to speak to colleagues about me being a racist, which is not the case. And then after that, 
um, obviously I carried on. And because uh, when I phoned Bear, she started walking away from me. But Ben was like, just get out of there. Don't spend a penny in there. You know, like, because at the time, uh, I, I was just crying. I, I was literally just sobbing my heart out because I didn't know what else to do. <laughs> but, um, yeah, anyway, I walked out with Ben because he met me. Ben met me at the, the, the entrance. We both got in the car. And the two lovely ladies that were dealing with it in the first place, like the colleagues, come out to the car and says, no, we're not having this. She says, you did nothing wrong. You're coming in, you're doing your shopping. And we're like, she is still in there, but we'll walk around with you. And I said to the woman, do you know how embarrassing it is <laughs> to basically have a chaperone to do shopping because I don't know how this woman's going to react to me. You know, I showed her Ben the woman after a while because she kept like circling and doing laps of Tesco and my father was like, you know, she's just after trouble. She is, she's just after trouble. I've never been more mortified in my life. I've never, honestly, I've never come across it. I said to them, I said, any little bit of faith in humanity I had has got taken away today. Like having a colleague at Tesco turn around to you and explain that white people, you know, have racism against them too. I mean, I did nothing wrong to this woman. <laughs> Just let me try it was there. I called her a middle-aged woman, I did, yeah. After she was giving me a load of crap about me needing to get professional help and everything else. And yeah, I'm over-emotional with being, you know, eight months pregnant, but it's still besides the point, didn't it? <laughs> And I know I should have probably stopped and carried on after, but at the end of the day, why should I not show you how upset I've been over this situation? About how the fact that anyone can go into Tesco and be harassed and slandered against just because they're pregnant. <laughs> and people trying to make out your race just because they're a different colour. No, I really haven't. This week's probably been one of the hardest weeks I've ever had. <laughs> anyway, I'm getting caught on camera. <laughs> so guys, I'm going to get into the Tesco haul now. I'm sorry about any of that. I picked up a few meal deals this time for when I go in labour. Well, actually, the frozen meals just to keep in the freezer. I've picked up these for Skylar's dinners. She wanted Monster Munch. They were 165 on Club Card. These were on Club Card for the Maryland mini cookies. And I haven't had a bar count in so long. These were 60p on Club Card. I saw them sat in bed. Look at these. Amazing. Well, we fell back to watch me go around the shop because I went. Not allowed to, but it was either the Tesco lady following me around the shop or my father following me around the shop. It's a crazy world we live in. Um, I've got some ripened at home kiwis. They were ninety five p for the kiwis. Some Miss Kipling cakes. They were one seventy five on Club Card. Some garlic apples for Skylar's dinner, and if she chooses to have any of this other fruit, she chose. They were, I think they were 89p on Club Card. Got this for Ben's hair. That was £3.50 on Club Card. I asked him what he wanted after I cut his hair the other day. I goes, What do you want? And he goes, I'll have that one. He goes, Not for that price that I said to him. I goes, I can guarantee you, Ben, you're not going to get it cheaper anywhere else. These were 99p each for some tea tree. He's been doing my hair really well, to be honest. 
it's been buying like the Dove and Herbal Essences and it's been making my hair really dry but it's been alright with my hair this time. I don't know if it's because it's a change, I don't know. I think these were 78 or 78p actually yeah for some bananas. These were £1.80 for some biodegradable antibacterial surface wipes so I'm going to put them in my hospital bag. I just thought they were rather handy to have in the bag so if, you know spills or you know when you need to clean your hands but can't get out of bed so that's for that these were 89p each so i've got a couple of them they are scar's favorite and there's the other one i did also get onyx these to try called savory cakes so apparently i've got chicken beef tuna and salmon and there's eight in there so i'm assuming you get two tins of each and I thought, why not, you know, something else we can try. He's had the one from Aldi before and he actually really enjoyed them, so hopefully, and then Scala did have meal deals in the end. It obviously, that they've been at now, so they were £3.50 each. Scala had a ham sandwich with eggs and pure orange, and Ben had a chicken salad sandwich with Pepsi Max cherry and refrigerators. And I had this Kirstie's takeaway sweet and sour rice that was my dinner that was £2.50 on club card I think I got some donuts £1.15 does anyone else remember when you used to get like a pack of six for like 50p I mean that's crazy isn't it but I also got this 75p for some water for go with me my dinner, I've already half drank it. Try and drink more water at the moment because my, my wee is not doing well, guys. You know, it is what it is. Um, I like the caramelized biscuit Quaker Oats that much that they actually do these boxes and they're on club card for £2. The pots are £1.30 each, or if you make it yourself, it was £2 for 10 sachets. I think it's 10. Yeah, 10 sachets. So I thought they'd be handy having. I wanted some pop of and these were 54p. They didn't even go out of date yet. Crazy. So yeah, got them. I mean, look how long this list is again, guys. Amazing. 125 for some New York bagels. £1.30 for some 50-50 wholemeal. The reason we've got a 50-50 this time is Scar's still got some white bread in and Ben's also got seeded bloomer in so that's sort of a backup when we run out of bread. <laughs> I did buy myself these because I really fancied a scone and the Tesco one you got like a pack of 10 it was like £1.65 which you know fair play because you're getting out of the oven but I'm not going to eat 10 scones and they were £1.65 or these luxury ones were £1.50 yeah you get less but I'll probably, I probably shouldn't say this, but I'll probably more likely eat these than all of them other ones. And I'm on my last bag. We've got a beef hot pot from Weight Watchers that was £2.50. Cottage pie, again £2.50. This was £1.50 on the club card for some Admiral's pie. That's for me, not them. <laughs> I got the salmon and broccoli mouth, £2.50. And these are £2.30. So this is the chicken curry calorie control one. And these are actually on club card offer for £2. So Ben got this chicken tikka masala. And then he got two of the beef lasagna. Yeah. So they were £2 on club card. There's eight dinners there. I know it's not going to be loads. You know, if we had one of them each. It's like four meals each, you know. But I'm starting to like build up and like I said to Ben, having cereal and things like that, it'll just help tie us over and I was going to like batch cook quite a lot of stuff. Now I decided against it because say I batch cook something and Ben doesn't like it, Skylar doesn't like it, that is a lot of waste when I know they'll eat them dinners. Do you know what I mean? Like is what it is but anyway i've got this so these in there are actually two pounds 75 for a 500 gram what box packing whatever if some chicken 
I have one to some raspberries, they were £1.80. One seventy five for some chopped chip Barbitas. These were a pound on the club card for some Greek style yogurts and the healthy I think. I swear I saw somewhere, yeah, zero percent fat already, sugar and high in protein. So nice. One ninety nine for some chicken tikka. One pound for some milky bar mousses. One pound fifty for some eggs. Go put them there before I squash them somewhere else. One ninety five for some ham. One pound thirty for an energized milkshake protein bottle we think i don't know it's probably like a breakfast drink or something i don't know 175 calories per 350 ml that's for the entire thing 125 for some cheese drinks 145 for some bacon just the cheap stuff like i said to you before i just pull it off if you can and then these were 150 some floral arts and then I've got my cans of pop in there, but there are 24 packs, so I'm going to leave them in there. But pretend you've seen Pepsi Max Cherry. All that came to £89.32. and pence. The subtotal was £115.31. And because of the savings we had, it ended up taking £25.99 off. And there we go. £89.32p. I did also pick up one of these because they're always free and sometimes they give you like little ideas to like make with the kids and that so I always have a good go over, have a look, see if there's any recipes we can make and yeah that's it really about the first part of this video. Yeah, I have no words. I really don't have no words. But anyway, I'm going to love you, leave you. If you do like my content, please press the like button. Share it with your friends and family and please keep on watching. Bye.